everybody, it's Mass Strath, and welcome to the GT Cock! Ah, I said I was going to do it. For God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the Global Trophy Champions Champions, which if you abbreviate it, is GT Cock. So, there we go. Uh, I'm joined alongside... Sam Reddit 64, um, back for another video. I'm, ba I'm, I'm basically half the channel at this point. Well, I, don't, I don't do much on this one, so... You should do more stuff. Do some more stuff. I have a gaming channel, that takes precedence. I have a job that's very commanding, takes more precedence. Nah. I have to work nine to last seven, mate. Come on. <laughs> Give me a bit of luxury. Scrub. I mean scrub. Not scrub. Get good. Anyway. All right. Anyway, it's time for Group C, which is the third appearance of England in this trophy. Yes, but they're still not going to get any points. No. Well, yeah. But they've had a good run, though. You know, they, they've been consistent. Oh dear. Oh well. <laughs> no points, no goals scored, and a minus 48 goal difference. So yeah, they've, they've solid, done... solid effort, I'd say, so far. Very consistent. Anyway, yeah, it's right. time for Group C. Um, we have currently eight teams through, so half the list has been filled. Um, Morocco, currently the benchmark for the dud team for the round of 16, with 25 points. So they're going to need to get more than that in this group. Yeah, 25 seems like a, a total that's attainable really 25 doesn't seem like that big of a that big of a, uh, a, a target to make but with that said it's not gonna be easy because you know 25 points is it was because they had four competitive teams you know you had, you had the eight, team in eighth place which was Gavin in the last one mm. but say if you know in this group here the, the, the four teams they're not as competitive they're all around the same kind of squad quality level also, everyone, don't put in the comments that I accidentally selected Bahrain first. Go away. Leave. Yeah. Leave. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, anyway, so first up, the uh, well, I've already popped England in because they, they need no introductions at this point, <laughs> I think. Um, but next is the ranked 31st, the second lowest ranked team in this tournament. It's India. India. At the Oval. Love, love Major Gowan in 40 Towers. Yeah. Anyway, next, rank number 28, represent the only team in this group representing Europe. It's Croatia. And they did, they, they did really well in the, um, in the last, in the European segment. I think they won, didn't they? Um, no, I think Italy won. I think they came second. Yeah, that was it. They, they, did, they did a good job, though. And I know, um, I know, obviously, the, I think the year before it was the Czech Republic that won. The yeah. segment, but um, yeah, I think Croatia have won it before. I'm oh sure crap! I forgot. I still got chewing gum in my mouth. Hang on. No, never mind. I forgot about it's that. Fine. It's fine. No, Don't no, worry. no, no. I've got, I've got it now. By the way, sponsored by. <laughs> We're not sponsoring them again. Wrigley's Bubble Mint Chewing Gum. They're awesome. God right. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do that for each one now until like Wrigley's just gonna call me and just say we'll sponsor. It's a lot better than burger balls from a few years ago, at least. So there you go. Burger balls. Burger brilliant. balls. A way to burger your own balls. Like, like if you remember that one. <laughs> if you remember that one. Oh AOD, yeah, that that that's back serious. AOD. <laughs> AOD, mate. Anyway, our next uh, team is a team that has made it. Unlike England, the USA have made it, and football is not even their first primary sport. Do you know what? Fair play to the US, because I think they've done fairly well in their, in their respective trophies in the last few years, haven't they? Yeah. The game, at least, is not biased towards USA, but it is biased towards England. But also, politically correct, since we lose on penalties every bloody year. Yep, that's true. So that's about right. Next up, rank number 20, it is Japan. Yeah, the Japanese, they're not, again, the most prolific of teams, but they, they do consistently qualify for the global trophy. I think that's, that's helped them quite a lot. Yep, so this... I think they'll, uh, they'll, they'll look quite good this week, this, uh, this tournament. This is going to be a very different group to the last one. Obviously, last time we had six teams from the top 16. This time, I think we've only got three. Uh, we've got four. Oh, four. Sorry. How about um, And uh, speaking of those, uh, top uh, in the 14, so rank 14, it's South Africa. Again, not the most prolific of teams, though. Again, the, the fact that they're, 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 doing, they're so high is because they're in quite a poor quality continent. In terms of football in, in this game, so who knows? Yeah, well, next up is rank number nine. It's Mexico. See, Mexico are a very solid team. You know, they've, they've beat, they've, I think they've knocked that off, out Argentina the last couple of seasons. One of, the, one of the two seasons, they've knocked them out in the first round. 
They finished second to France in 2016, in 2017. Yeah, I want to say. I, I believe also Mexico made it to the. I think it was at least the quarterfinals in the uh, in the Global Trophy this year. I think. Yeah. So they're a solid, solid side. I think they'll be uh, they'll be dangerous in this group. Yeah. Speaking of solid sides, it's ranked number six. It's Cameroon next. Semi-finalists. Last time out, but uh, they didn't win the um, Africa section for the first, you know, for the first time in the, you know, 15 years. I think it was the first time that neither Nigeria nor Cameroon won the Africa section. It was, of course, Senegal. Yes, and uh, last but not least, rank number one, but then haven't done very well in the last few global trophies. It's Argentina. But if they've had two unbeaten runs before, haven't they? That's why they're so high. Yeah. And but Argentina, as we mentioned, last the last two trophies they were knocked out in the first round. Yeah, they have not had some good runs, and it's allowed teams to climb on them, like teams like France. Yeah, France and is Spain. obviously uh, France and Spain, two of the the other two big teams, and the, the other two three-time winners at least. My two cents is that Argentina is probably going to dominate this group. Yes, yeah, so that could definitely happen. Speaking of Argentina, it's a crunch match between the top two ranked teams in the first match. It's Argentina Cameroon to kick things off. There you go. Who knows? Big way to kick off the group. And the win goes to Argentina with a 3 1 win. Good start. Very good start. Yep. Next is Croatia versus England. So, three points to kick off with Croatia as well. But at the end of this, it will all even out. And everyone would have played England twice and won 6 0 altogether. So, yep. it evens itself out. Yep. Absolutely. All nice. All right. And apparently, the referee is Mr. S. Redpath, or whoever that is. Uh, it's a geezer. I'm just, I'm, I'm currently looking at my dog. My dog is looking at my cat, and I think they're going to try and kill each other. So bear with me if you hear screams in the background. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> okay. Well, you know. Or is that, oh, that means we can go for a commercial break. Yay. Sponsored by. <laughs> no, not again. No, we're only going to do it once for video. That's fine. I'm going to do it, though, for the, the entire thing now until they just call me up and say, we want to sponsor the Global Trophy. They never will. In, mate, we can dream. We can I, dream. You never know. You never know. Just think. Just think about it, though. It'd be great. Anyway, next is India versus Japan. India need to get off to a good start here. They are the lowest ranked team in this group. I'm going to say Japan's going to win this one. Well, let's end it in a draw. I think that's a point one more than two loss for India there. Yeah, absolutely. And it, the thing is, they need to beat seven points. I think that's their aim, really, because seven points is obviously what New Zealand and Gavin have. Yeah. So they're gonna do. They're gonna match it, which is good. Yep. So all all together, a good start. Next up is Mexico versus South Africa. I'd say Mexico are the favourites here. Yep, a one nil win, and uh, that means that the only team that hasn't played and is gonna probably play like halfway through this season is the USA. Interesting. Ha! <laughs> Late again. <laughs> <God's sake. laughs> oh, I just had to go over that one. Um, anyway, so our next match is Argentina versus Croatia, the top two teams so far after the first fixture. Um, I'm going to say Croatia are going to lose. It's a draw! Wow. Nice That's job, like... Croatia, against Argentina of all teams. Fantastic. Well done, Croatia. Yep. Next up is Cameroon versus England. So Cameroon are going to be able to get some points here and uh, move themselves from the bottom to the top. Well, you know, you look at Cameroon, they've they finished in the top four twice now in the Global Trophy. Obviously, 2017, they, they had a the golden opportunity to go and win the whole thing, and they just obviously lost out to Portugal. Yeah, and um, uh, to, to all to all those at home uh, that um, uh, that are watching this, wherever you are watching this, and whatever device you are watching this, when I said the words bottom to the top, you gotta congratulate me for not singing all about that bass. So, also that song is crap. So there we go. Uh, Megan Trainer, God damn. The song is awful. <laughs> I could do that in a monotone voice as well. You know, I could, I could sing, I don't know, let's try Bohemian Rhapsody with it. Mama just killed a man. <laughs> top! That's going to be top in like three weeks. Three Jeez. weeks, top of the charts. Sod off, Ed Sheeran. Even though you do make good music, but stop breaking your leg. Anyway, um, next is India versus Mexico. It's a 3-0 win for Mexico. That yeah. Was an awkward silence. No, no, I think, you know, let's face it. It, 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 it was only going to go one way, wasn't it? True, yeah. So India, uh, at least they've got a draw so far, so that's a plus. South Africa, only team to have not scored a point yet, bar USA. Obviously, you haven't 
who are late again. So, yeah, it's Japan versus South Africa next. And South Africa are off the board. There you go. Good effort from them. With a 1-0 win. Next up is Argentina versus England. So Argentina are going to be going first here in the, thir the first match of the third fixture. But at the moment, it's looking pretty... We were thinking like Argentina were going to romp home, but they've already they've already suffered a draw in a match they probably could have should have won against of all teams Croatia. So, well, Croatia are a, are a solid team, you know, as we said. They've won they've won before, you know, in in Europe. So, who knows? They've, it's not exactly a bad team, and I think there's there's plenty, you know, there's plenty that they can they can take from, and I think they'll be uh, be dangerous. Yes, well, if Croatia do make it through, they'll be the lowest-ranked team still in at this point. Um, at the moment, it's Russia, who's ranked 27, one rank higher than Croatia. But Croatia off to a good start so far. Mm. Um, as are Argentina, who have only uh, lost two points so far. Mexico yet to drop a point yet. So Mexico could be a team to watch. Next is Cameroon versus Croatia. Back-to-back -back tough matches for Croatia. Yep, yeah, I'd say Cameroon are probably the favourites here. Yep, it's a 2-0 win for Cameroon. That puts them third um, alongside Mexico, but Mexico have a game in hand. Mm, I, I think, you know, you, you, look at, you look at Cameroon, I think they're going to be up there. The, them, Mexico and Argentina, I'm going to say, are probably going to go through. And I'd say probably Croatia will join them, but you never know. We'll see. That's at the moment. Next is India versus South Africa. Two teams that do need to start winning some games. And neither of them win this game. It's a draw. Yeah. It's getting, that, that gap is already starting to open quite quickly, isn't it? Yeah. Next up, it's uh, Japan versus Mexico. And that also ends in a draw. Well, interesting. So at the moment, the top three are looking pretty good. They're, uh, Cameroon are two points ahead of Croatia and South Africa in fourth and fifth. Um, with Mexico and Argentina uh, three points ahead, uh, but yeah, the gap in the top uh, from the top three downwards is already starting to open. Yeah, I'd, I'd say you know, as we mentioned, those top three are going to be tough to beat. But yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Well, next up it is uh, Argentina versus India. I mean, this is going to be a tough fight. <laughs> New record. India 1, Argentina 16. Yep. Jesus. As, as, as predicted, really. Biggest re biggest win of the Global Trophy Champion Champions thus far. 16-1, blowing Germany's win out the water against New Zealand. Great effort. Next is Cameroon. Can they replicate that? Probably not. But they're against Japan. No, they don't replicate it, but they do win 4-0. So a decent performance there from Cameroon. And now it's Mexico versus Croatia. Hmm, I'd say Mexico needs to win this. It's a draw. Wow. Well. So Croatia still in there. But yeah, the Mo South Africa have got England next. So South Africa will be able to move just a point behind Mexico. So that draw has really put Mexico in a bit of problems now. They need to start catching up, don't they? Yeah, they're losing ground on the top two and... The teams that are like fourth and fifth are gaining ground. Yeah, and I think Mexico need to start performing because obviously they, they've drew a lot of games so far. I think they're still unbeaten, but they've, they've drew a lot of games. Yeah, it's, um, it, it's been against some very, very plucky opponents so far. And yeah, um, yeah Mexico slowly starting to uh, fall away from, uh, from Argentina and Cameroon, who are flying at this point. Yeah, absolutely. So a good start for uh, Argentina and Cameroon, but Mexico not so much. At the moment, every team in the top 10 have made it through so far. Brazil, Portugal, Italy, Nigeria, Germany, and Spain all through. Well, will, uh, will Mexico fall out of that? We'll have to wait and see. I don't know. Next up, it's Argentina versus Japan. I mean, again, Argentina for me. Yeah, it's a 3-1 win for Argentina. Puts them... 10 uh, puts them uh, four points ahead of Cameroon, but Cameroon have got a game in hand against India, who just suffered a devastating loss to Argentina. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think Argentina's really winding up quite nicely now. I think they're just going to yeah. go and dominate the rest of the league. Well, Cameroon did win, but it was only 2-0 in comparison, so 
Yeah, it just yeah. shows the level of quality between the two. Yeah. Next up, it's Croatia versus South Africa. One is fourth, one is fifth. This is a very important match for both teams. Croatia, you can't be bloody drawing this one. So you go and draw this one. <laughs> mm. Yeah. That's not looking very good. No, not at all. For either of those. Um, next up is England versus Mexico. So Mexico will be able to gain some ground on Cameroon and uh, Argentina. They'll be two points behind Argentina and a point behind Cameroon. So Mexico right back up there in those t in that top three. Yeah, I think, you know, Mexico, as we predicted, I think they will come good. It's just going to take a bit of time. But obviously, I don't think they're going to be challenging Cameroon and Argentina for the win. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, well, at the moment, they're doing they're doing pretty well, I'd say, at the moment so far. But we I also... Think they're still a beaten, aren't they? Um, I think so. Yeah, I think I think so. Uh, we do also have to be wary of the fact that uh, I've heard that the, uh, the the USA are currently stuck in traffic right now. Oh, oh are, are, they, are they on the way? Yeah, yeah, they're stuck. They're stuck in traffic right now. I think it's log jam. Um, so yeah, but they're, they're, they'll be here in a few fixtures. Don't worry about it. Oh, good, oh, good. And then randomly, a team will fall off the face of the earth. That's what usually happens with this. Well, well. Next up, speaking of the top three, it's Argentina Mexico. Very important match for both teams. Yep. The win goes to Argentina. 2-0 win. Could Argentina be the first team to go unbeaten? Never know. Hang on, Spain did that, I think, didn't oh, they? Did Spain go unbeaten? Oh, they did, didn't they? Yeah, Spain they only did. dropped, I think, four points, I think. Is that right? I yeah, that's so. right, yeah, because 48 is the max, so and Spain was yeah. on 44, so yeah. The second yeah. team, then. Yeah. Next, next up, it's Cameroon versus South Africa. Very important match again for both teams here, and it's ended in a draw. Interesting. Argentina Interesting. might start pulling away here. Yeah, I think so. Next up, it is Croatia versus India. Probably a Croatia win here, but you never know. The win goes to India. Wow. India beat Croatia. England's so got on, Croatia can draw with Argentina, yet lose to India. Yet lose to a team who lost like 16-1. Yeah, I know. It, it... Thanks, game. Great. Also, thanks, game, for letting England lose on penalties all the bloody time. Thanks, game. I can't remember the last time that England actually won on penalties in a global trophy. Maybe it's just an in-joke. <laughs> what? Are you saying that the disc has sentience now? No, I'm, what I'm saying is the disc is programmed to have us be poor, uh, win less frequently on penalties. Either that, or it's just said, like, it's got, like, a little bit on, like, England's database just saying, if uh, it ends in a draw, England lose on penalties or something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you need that personality trait. That's what England does. All right, our next match, in, going into fixture number seven. So we're, uh, we're over a third of the way through here. Uh, it's Argentina versus South Africa. I wonder he's going to go with Argentina again, obviously. Yep. Only 1-0, though, but Argentina now pulling away. Six points ahead of Cameroon, who have Mexico in a very important match. It's a crunch match. And the win goes to Mexico. That's just even more points uh, for Argentina, then. Yep, so Argentina currently five ahead of Mexico, six ahead of Cameroon. Mexico moved to second. Next is Croatia versus Japan. It's fifth versus sixth. Both teams, they're slowly... Pulling, uh, South Africa is slowly pulling away. Yeah, both I teams so. need a win. Croatia does win and levels with South Africa. Well, it's, I think this is opening the door more and more for USA. Yes, and England's got India, so India are going to get another win here. Hey, they're going to make they're going to make it onto ten points. Yeah, I mean, this is going pretty well actually for India, I'd say so far. For Considering the, they're ranked number 31. Yeah, usually the lowest ranked team finishes on like seven points like Gavin and New Zealand have. But India... Have won a match. They beat have, Croatia. Yeah, they've been... And they, I think they've drawn an extra match. But they've they've been showing how it's done. They're still bottom. But... but they, I think and they're probably going to finish bottom. They're probably going to finish bottom. But they're showing it how... They're showing everyone how it's done. How you can be still a bit competitive even though you are the lower ranked team. Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, India... They've done well so far, and I think they'll just walk away happy at this point, because they should have won a match. Yes, well, India currently on eight points so far. Um, they're currently above Japan. 
Hmm. Right now, so they're that's actually crazy. above Japan so far. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> yep. Next up, the Americans are here. Are oh, they arrived? The they, 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 they Ubers arrived. They're here, they're here. They're Uber. They're Ubers here, yep. They're Ubers here. Uh, but their first match, since as a punishment for them being liked, their first match is against Argentina. So. Wow. Well, you never know. <laughs> nope, it's a 2 0 win for Argentina, so oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. As predicted. America, not to a good start. Uh, next is Croatia versus Cameroon. Very important match for Croatia here. They need to keep South Africa at bay, but it's against Cameroon. You never know. It's a draw. Not bad. Not bad at all. India play England next. So that's another three points for India. They're on 11. Oh. Yes. I think India are actually in the top four now. Incredible. Imagine if India qualify. Oh, God, if they do. That would scenes. be amazing. Scene, scene, scene. Yeah, but the moment now, Cameroon are looking like the weaker team of the top three. Mexico being able to get on a bit of form, and Argentina just running away with it so far. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, Argentina, as we predicted, we're always going to win. It just depends on who comes second, third, and fourth, really. I think, you know, Argentina... Their biggest challenge in this group, as, as we as we might have thought, was try and beat Spain's record. Yeah, um, and I don't think that's going to happen now. Actually, well, can have it they, happen? Have they lost any games? Uh, yeah, can it happen? It can still happen, but Argentina need to win every single game from now on. I mean, it's doable to beat their record. To equal the record, they can draw one more game. Yeah. Next up is Mexico versus Japan. The win goes to Mexico, two-one. So it was a very close match. Yeah, and you know, I think Mexico, once again now, they're starting to show their quality. They started quite poorly, but I think they're now in a position where they're probably going to go and win. Yep, the top two running away at the moment. Argentina on 22 after eight games. Mexico on 17 after eight games. Both teams looking very strong. Yeah, absolutely. Next, Cameroon versus the USA as we go slowly into the second half of the league. It's a win yep. for Cameroon. It's 2 0. Yep, Cameroon, again, one of the stronger teams in the league. It's going to be tough to beat them. You know, th those three, they're like major players towards the end of the actual knockout stages as well, which is quite exciting, really. Yep. Uh, currently, India are fourth. Yep. So far. <laughs> Fair place, India. Yeah, after getting Although, crushed by Argentina. They have played both of their England games. True, and some teams have not. Um, yes. Next it is Croatia versus Argentina. Uh, well, the rematch. The rematch, yep. Argentina do not fail this time. It's a 2 0 win. Keeping them through. Japan have now got England, so that's an extra three points for Japan, who. Uh, they're, they're, they are falling behind now. Japan. Yeah, Japan are yeah. starting to fall behind. And USA, unless they start moving, they're going to fall behind as well. They, they, they've got a lot to live up to, haven't they, the uh, USA? We need to try and uh, win a lot of games. Yeah, with the US, they've they've had two games so far, and they've lost both of them. So, at the moment, they're not looking too good. Yeah, and I think, you know, my money was on the US actually just falling away in fourth place. But I think now you've got to look at, you know, possibly South Africa doing a good job. Yeah, well, South Africa at the moment have... Uh, they're the other team that have randomly disappeared from existence so far. Oh, right. So where, have they been kidnapped? Yeah, they've, they've been... I don't know about kidnapping, but, uh, you know, maybe maybe they're just a bit hanging or something, I don't know. Oh, okay. There were a few too many bevies with the boys. Oh, yeah. Uh, next up is Mexico versus India. So third versus fourth of India. <laughs> that Quite, still yeah. surprises me. It's a 3-0 win for Mexico. India. Yeah. So now the top three... Are, well, Cameroon, who's in the top three, are six points ahead of India, so yeah, the gap's getting bigger. But this does this does it present another problem. But obviously, we're about halfway through now, aren't we? Uh, yeah, we're over halfway through. We're in fixture number ten. Well, this this presents a problem because fourth place is on eleven points. Yeah, so they've far get, they've got to get to twenty-five. Yeah, it's not looking too good for India. They need a good second half of the season, but well, they've look. also just played their England game, so. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. They've, 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 there's other teams that need to they need to all step up and try and get to that twenty that magical twenty five. Otherwise, they could end up as the dead team. Yep. Next up is Croatia versus the USA. Speaking of two teams that need to up their game, a pair of them. The USA get their first victory. It's a sloppy win, but it's a one nil win, and it's a win nonetheless for the Americans. Yep. Through to the next round. Well, through to the next game. I think a win against Croatia, which is obviously one of their big rivals in this group. Very happy with that. 
Yep. Next match, Cameroon Argentina. Big battle big between boys. first and third. There are eight points between the two. It's amazing how far ahead Argentina are. There are still eight points between the two. It ends in a draw. draw. And Isn't Mexico they... are going to be three behind Argentina because they got England next. So Mexico yeah. are pushing forward on Argentina. Plus, with how... that draw, yeah. Argentina can, can now only equal Spain on oh, points. There you go, then. But, uh, what's amazing as well is they are now, you know, considering how poorly Mexico did start, you know, quite sluggishly initially, and now they've managed to catch up. Yeah, they've just been able to just... You know, a, a win against Argentina in their level. Yeah, get, uh, put, put a rocket on themselves pretty much, Mexico, and uh, they fired themselves right up into second place. And uh, they're pulling away from Cameroon. Yeah, I think Cameroon will finish third. It's just, you know, unfortunate that... Uh, it's fortunate for Cameroon that everyone else below them just want to lose all the time, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, pretty much. Um, next match is Japan versus India. It's fourth versus seventh. India hanging on so far to that uh, fourth place, shockingly enough. Mm. But Japan do beat India and go into fourth. There it's very close for that fourth place so far. Mm. I'd say the rest of the teams could still compete for that fourth place. Yeah, it, it, it's so close. Yep, and USA are about to get closer as well. They've got England next. That's another three points for the Americans. USA, they're not out of this at all, are they? They're definitely a, a contender. Those, there's four teams there. In fact, everyone from Cameroon down, it's not exactly a foregone conclusion that any of them could get into the top four. No, it's it's fixture number 10 and they're all still in. Yeah. It's, it's going to be close. Which, which is a problem for, for everyone because they need to finish on 25 or above points. And obviously if they, if they don't, then it means that uh, our good friends, was it, who was it in the end? It Morocco. was uh, Morocco. Yeah. Will, uh, will be able to compete, which is good for them. Yeah, well, I think the real thing is that there's no sort of like definite team that's going to finish last that we know. Like we've had Gavin in New Zealand before. But with this, all the teams are actually looking pretty competitive now. Yep. Next up, it's India versus Argentina. It's the rematch. And it ends 6 0 to Argentina this time. Oh, so not, not quite a de de demol yep. demolishing. There you go. And not as much as a demolition, so yeah. Next up, it's uh, Japan versus Cameroon. Japan currently fourth. Want to try and keep that. But they do lose to Cameroon. Cameroon's now 10 points ahead of fourth. Which means very, Argentina very... are nine, are 18 ahead, points ahead of fourth. So they can lose literally every game and still come fourth. <laughs> oh, yeah. And still and, go through because they've scored enough points. And Argentina are on 29 points so far. Yeah, so they're so looking really good. Argentina. Next, That's Mexico amazing. versus Croatia. Croatia needs to start getting wins now. Yep. Okay, they get a win against Mexico. Croatia into fourth. Wow, impressive. Next up is India versus the USA. India currently in sixth. USA currently in eighth, but... In, uh, the USA have seven p games in hand. There's only five points to separate these two teams. It's it's, it's a close group, isn't it? You know, obviously um, Argentina above and beyond everyone else, but it's it's so competitive. Everyone else is really close together. Even you know Mexico and Cameroon haven't pulled away as much as we thought. Yeah, and it ended in a draw between those two teams, between India and the USA. So India, India slowing America down. Never. And keeping the point tally going, staying with that top four spot, Argentina are about to pull away even more because they've got England next. It's just ridiculous, isn't it, really? How so at the moment, I'd say Argentina are definite winners so far, unless something goes terribly wrong. It's been an incredible effort from those guys. Yeah, you know, they've Argentina are just incredibly strong, and I think they've got just so much going for them, really. Yeah, well, they are the number one ranked side, so... It's amazing considering that they, again, they haven't been in the last two global trophies. I think they're trying to make it for lost time. Yeah. Uh, next up is Mexico versus Cameroon. It's second versus third yet again. And it's a win for Cameroon. They go above Mexico. Just saw like a battle for second between those two. Argentina now pull away eight points ahead. Next up it is Japan versus Croatia. Japan who are sixth versus Croatia who are fourth. There are two points between the two. This is close. The winner goes to Croatia and they are now four ahead of India in fourth. 
that's, that's a good title, isn't it? Yeah, but we still have South Africa and USA. They are still there. So far, next is Japan versus the USA. Speaking of them. Oof. It's a 3-3 draw. Wow, good fight. Yeah, next is Mexico-Argentina here. First versus third. An Argentina win 2-0. A very strong performance. And that means that Cameroon's next match against England, Cameroon will pull away and be four ahead of Mexico. I think Cameroon's going to finish second here against Mexico. Well, it's they're both close. I think you know, a few dodgy results either way. Yeah, but we're, we're getting very close to the end. I think this is like fixture 13. We're getting very close to the end. It's gonna be it's gonna be close, but I'd say Cameroon nearly have done enough to uh, secure second. Argentina definitely first. Yeah, I think so. You know, if if they don't from here, then you'd be very disappointed, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's 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 gonna be a very it's gonna be you're gonna need some big results going against Argentina, especially in their own games, for Argentina to not win this group. But I think they will be. I think I think they're gonna match Spain. Oh, fair enough. Okay, so, and apparently Mr. T. Harrison was the man of that match. The match that didn't even start. Anyway, um, next match is India versus Croatia. Croatia still need... If they, if they win this, they'll be seven ahead. And I think they'll be pretty safe. Seven-nil win for Croatia. What a performance. Crazy. So, they are now seven ahead, but still there's South Africa and America just waiting. Fantastic. Just, just waiting. Speaking of USA, it's them against Mexico next. Well, Mexico, you know, they're, they're a decent side. Yes, well, end. it's a draw, which will mean that Cameroon will be starting to pull away again. Japan mm. versus Argentina is next, and if Argentina win this, they are the uh, group winners. Not really, not really surprising. They have won. Argentina are the group winners. There's a surprise. We didn't see that one coming in for Chris. Oh, yeah. Well, next is India versus Cameroon. India's still in the fight, but it's going to take a lot for them to get through, I think. A 3-0 loss to Cameroon means that India can no longer catch Croatia. Uh, India and Japan are both out. It's a shame, but obviously India, they've, I think they've done much better than anyone ever expected, really. Yeah, definitely. And Croatia are going to pick up more points. They're against England next. They Danger. could catch Mexico here. How many points are Mexico on? 22, 23, I think, something like that. So they're not safe yet. They need to, they need to and get And Croatia is on 19, I think. But they're about to beat England, so they'll be on 22. Crazy. Because So both teams are getting very close. Croatia could go through here. Yeah, they could do. It's, it's looking good for Croatia after that poor start they have. Yeah, but they, they've, they, really they've just strong. started getting those draws against those big teams, getting the wins against the smaller teams, and just slowly climbing. They're nearly at Mexico's level now, Croatia. Yeah. Representing yeah. good old Europe. Yeah, they've done such a great job. Croatia now two points behind Mexico. Mexico on 24 points. Two more points will mean that Mexico will be safe if they qualify. Croatia need... They, they still need a lot. They need... They need four points out of their last two games. Mm -hmm. they do, they, well, they, they need to... Um, they need to get enough points. To, they need to get to 25, don't they, really? That's, yeah. that's, the, that's the main aim. Yep. So next, it's South Africa versus the USA. These teams are now going to start firing back. And it's a 2-0 win for the USA against South Mason's Africa. Up. Next, South Africa versus Argentina. A 2-0 win. A 2-0 win for Argentina puts them through even further now. Crazy. South Africa losing ground on Croatia. Losing some serious ground. Next, it's the USA versus Cameroon. USA six games in hand, 10 points behind Croatia. They're still 10 points behind Croatia. It's not looking good now for the US. No, I think they've done. Especially when the next match is against Argentina, which they've lost as well, 1-0. They're still in it, but they need to start winning. It's just not, you know, they, they just step up a little bit more. and I think it's just going to be a little bit too little too late, really. Yeah, next is South Africa versus Cameroon. Which goes South Africa's way. 
well, surprising. Cameroon finish off the league on 33 points. Argentina finish off the league on 44 points. They would have equaled Spain. And they're 11 points ahead of second. Mexico obviously can't catch Cameroon. They just want to make sure that Croatia don't catch them. At this point, it's South Africa versus Croatia next. It's a draw. There you go. It is a draw. Both teams can still catch the next is USA versus England. So that's a big, big three points for the USA. Oh, Tom. Yep. Could we possibly see like Mexico and Croatia both go out? It could happen. It's, it's not inconceivable, but obviously Mexico they need to get to 25. Really. They, they urgently need to get to 25. Yeah, but maybe uh, getting to 25 will not be enough this time around. To actually even go through, you may finish fifth or whatever. It's very close between those teams. So Mexico still not out of the woods yet. Neither are Croatia. And the USA and South Africa slowly bearing down on those two teams. It's yeah. very close. And there, there's still games in hand for South Africa and the USA. So it's just going to get closer. It's going to be a very nail-biting last few games, I think. For those yeah, four teams. Absolutely. Four teams, two spots. USA now face against Croatia in Croatia's final match. Can Croatia do it? The win goes to Croatia and they finish on 26 points. They've done it. Crazy. At least for the moment. South but Africa. Can anyone catch them? Yep, South Africa, USA and Mexico still have games to play. But Croatia finish on 26 points. So if they do go through... They will be safe from the dud by one point. Fair play to them. Well done. So that means Morocco is still going to be the dud team, which is good for them. <laughs> Not good for them at all. They don't want that. But you never know. It might be Group D where we may get our dud team. But for the moment, Croatia are safe if no one catches. If, if uh, only one person or none of them catch them, they're safe. If two catch them, they'll be fifth and they will be out. Here we go then. But that's gonna be very that's gonna be very tricky to do. South Africa have got England next, so that's win their, for them. Yep, that's their that's their three points. And I think that's England's final game of the group. And oh what a surprise, they finished on zero points. Shock. Shock and or shock horror. Yeah, so I think, but I believe that is England's final game. So from here on in, it's just gonna be results. This All is it good. then. This is this is so obviously the top three comfortably through. Well, the top two definitely through, but Croatia not not safe yet. Nope, not yet. It's, uh, it's not over yet. Next up, South Africa versus India. Who's winning on here? Well, like Sa yeah, well, South Africa have just won, so they are getting closer. They're not over yet, are they? Yeah, three games to go. They're seven behind Croatia. They're only five behind Mexico. USA versus Japan next. USA, they need to win this or they need to win the rest of their games. Let's see it. Here we go. They do win. 2-1. So USA also not out of it yet. This is so close. It is very close. Next is USA versus India. Big game. It's a draw. Ooh. The USA, they are now only five behind Mexico. They're five behind Mexico. They cannot catch Croatia now. There you go, so that's it. They're out. Yep. South Africa are next against Japan. They got a game in hand. They need to beat Japan here. But Japan beat them. Well. Both teams. Okay, so let's just look at the scale of this. Croatia have 26 points. They've played all their games. Mexico has 24. They've got two games left. So USA have 19 with two games left. South Africa have 19 with two games left. It's not over yet. If Mexico win this next match, it will be over. They're against yep. South Africa. Big game. It's a draw, which means South Africa are out. But it does also mean that Mexico are now level with Morocco with only one game left. They need, yep. to, win. They need to get a point. The USA, though, they can need to them. win both their next games. Yep, they can catch them. It's USA versus Mexico next. Mexico just need a point to go above the USA. and or to, to beat the USA and win. And they gain all three points. USA out. There you go. And through go. 
Mexico. Yep, and Croatia dropped to fourth, but they have 26 points, so they're still safe. So they won't mind that one at all, will yep. they? And the final match ended in a 1-1 draw between USA and South Africa. So, in eighth place, with 13 points, is India. That's respectable, that is, isn't it? It's a pretty decent performance there from India. Uh, seventh with 15 is Japan. So Japan nearly lost to India. Yep. Wow. Sixth with 20 points is the USA. They are right late and they're leaving early. Yep, definitely. <laughs> uh, in fifth with 21 is South Africa. Got kidnapped Not halfway through, now leaving early. <laughs> It wasn't a bad effort for them, but they, they just weren't good enough, were they? Yeah, they just finished five points behind Croatia, who have finished in fourth. Croatia through on 26 points, and they will qualify and not be the dud team because they finished one point above Morocco from Group B. Yeah, absolutely. In third place with 28 is Mexico. That was very close for them. It was close, again, considering they came third and they finished behind Russia's total. I think it kind of illustrates the, the weakness that was in, week, in um, Heat 1, or Group 1. But you know what? It is what it is. Um, I think they won't mind too much. The fact that they've been able to go through is, is fine. Yeah. Uh, next, second with 33. No surprise, Cameroon was going to finish second. I think we were fairly certain of that. Yeah, I think, you know, Argentina were never going to be challenged by them. But 33 points isn't a bad effort for them, well yeah, and last but not least, first place with 44 points, equaling Spain with 52 goals and only six goals scored against them. It's Argentina. So, are they going to win the whole thing? I think uh, it's going to be tough to beat them. Oh, you never know. They've, they've, they're certainly on par, I'd say, with Spain with being probably one of the favourites here so far. So the teams currently through the Global Trophy Finals are Spain, Germany, Nigeria, Russia, Italy, Portugal, Brazil, Morocco, Argentina, Cameroon, Mexico, and Croatia. It's quite, it's quite a nice tournament, isn't it? Man? There's, there's every, everyone who you want to be in it is in it. And some random, and some unexpected ones that you weren't expecting, like Croatia and Croatia, Russia, Russia and Morocco. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, it, it looking, it's shaping up quite nicely. But who have we got next week? Well, next week we have the lowest ranked team in the tournament, ranked number 32, the UAE. We have ranked 24, China. Ranked 19, Senegal. Ranked 18, Chile. Ranked 17, Saudi Arabia. Ranked 12, Australia. Ranked 11, the Netherlands. And ranked number two, four time Global Trophy Champions, France. I, I've got a feeling France are going to do quite well next week, but uh, we shall see. Yes, we shall see. Well, until next week for the final group stage or the final group of the Global Trophy Champion of Champions, the GT Cock 2018. I'm sponsored, by sponsored by Wrigley's Bubble Mint. Yes, yes, sponsored <laughs> by Wrigley's Bubble Mint. Um, I've been Mastrath. I am Sam Alexi before. And we'll see you next week for more GT Cock.